All right, guys, tonight we are back out at Family Video, although this time we are at the one in Massillon, Ohio. It is snowing. It's supposed to get worse. It's supposed to snow really bad for like the next five, six hours straight and then like rain and melt it all. But right now, we're going in here to get some videos and have an awesome night because it is Saturday night! This is one where they have actually taken part of it, blocked it off, and put in a Marco's Pizza. I totally wish that I could have Marco's Pizza tonight, but you know I'm on a low-carb diet, so I can't. It would be totally awesome, though. But let's go on in here, get some awesome movies. I love going in and just browsing around the movies. Okay guys, yeah, look at this is a smaller one in here because they do have the Marcos here, a door that walks straight through. And look at this, look how good this looks. Oh my gosh. I should make cheesy bread tonight. That would be tasty. Maybe I'll do that as part of our snack. Okay, so there are a couple of different things that I'm actually looking for, but I do want to look around a little bit just because it's fun. That's the whole thing about coming to a video rental store. You get to look around and discover new movies. Wait a minute. Look at this. This one I have heard is a really good movie, but I have not seen it yet. It's a remake. Papillon, Papillon, I don't know how you say it. What I'm really stoked about, though, is that they have the Goonies playing on the TV up here. Night Shift. I don't know if I've heard of that one either. Looks pretty spooky. All right, this one right here. I actually have like three copies of this movie because it is the funnies. I love it so much. There's a couple of them that make fun of all the scary movies that were popular, like Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer and things like that. But that one does the best. Scary movie. Hilarious. The Wayans Brothers. This, I'm such a nerd. I love Halloween so much that when I saw this, I got excited. <laughs> Peppa Pig Pumpkin Party. Oh wow, I have to say I'm surprised that Parasite is actually in. Holy crap. Here is the new Ghostbusters, but I heard it is not very good at all. So I don't even think I'm gonna give that one a chance, at least not yet. And, oh, look at this. It's in the two for one, two for a dollar, so it's only 50 cents. Still, I think I'll pass because you can't get two hours back. What in the world is this? Killing Gunther? That is actually Arnold right there. I've never heard of this movie and I'd be willing to bet it's for good reason. Cause even just the cover art looks horrible. I'm not really big into the Medea movies, but I do want to see this one. A Medea Halloween. <laughs> that actually just looks funny on the box. I'll get that another time though. Well, partially because it's not even in. Blu rays are in, but for some reason my player is not playing the Blu rays. It'll play regular DVDs, but not Blu rays. What the heck? Here we go again with another Keanu Reeves movie I have never heard of. Knock, knock. What the heck? 
like I said, guys, that's what I love about coming out to rent movies. And this is what I miss about coming to rental places. Because you find so many things you didn't even know exist. I mean, I'm, just, I'm blown away. I've never heard of this. That's three of them now. Move over this way a little bit and see if we can find what I came here for. There are three movies that I have in mind in coming in here. I have not seen them yet. But you never really know what section they're going to be in. Oh, wait, look at this. Ready Player One. I want to get this one night. Not tonight, but one night soon. I started watching it, and it's awesome. But we're going to have to finish it another night. One of them I'm looking for is Grumpy Old Men. Because every time it snows, I think of that movie. I want to go to Wabasha and do, like, filming locations of that movie. But I do not see it in here yet. I am totally striking out on the movies I want. One of them was Grumpy Old Men, and I cannot find that one. The next one is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Let's see. Oh! Aw, oh, crap. And look, they got these two. Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, and Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. But not Honey, We Shrunk the Kids. What is up with that? Wait a minute. Where is the kids section? Okay, here's free kids movies. Oh, please have it. I love Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Okay, we got must-see kids over here. I think the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Nope. Not in there. Okay, we got H's again. Uh, I don't see it. I am so bummed. All right, and the last thing that I had on my mind was... Uh, Wait, here it is, guys. Oh, my God. And it's in. Yes. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the kids. I'm so excited. I probably even have this movie at home. But what fun is it to get in your own movie stash? If you have to come out here and search for it, and then you find it in the way that I just did, it means that much more. And look, it was appropriately under the must-see movies. That's hilarious. Holy crap, here's Grumpy Old Men, too. Yes, I'm getting it. We did get two good ones. Um, I'm not even going to tell you what the other one is, because we'll save it for another night. Ooh, looky here, though. Halloween. That's the original, 1978. Okay, guys. Got into a conversation with him in there for a little while about YouTube and stuff. Look at this snow coming down. That is so awesome. That makes a movie night so much fun. You know, because you can, like, basically convince yourself that you're stuck in the house. You don't want to go out in the snow. <laughs> Look at this snow coming down now, guys. It is supposed to do this, like, all night long. Of course, then it's supposed to start raining afterwards, so all, all of it will be gone by morning anyway, but... Dang. All right, let's go in here, get our shirt, and, uh... I don't even know what we're going to put on it yet. We'll have to decide something totally awesome and sweet. All right, I think dude clothes. Yeah, this is the this is the dudes section. <laughs> oh, man, check it out for whenever we have the SpongeBob movie night. And look at this. A lot of times they have, uh, well, I've never seen them in here, but they make Goonies socks with all the characters from the Goonies, and they're always sold out. Look, this is Harry Potter stripes. Harry Potter stripes right there. On clearance, too. Five bucks. Wait, was $7.44? Oh, that's a different brand. That's all right. Yeah, I don't really like what I'm seeing there. It's like a different material that I don't like. Let's go over here a minute. I had an idea for what I want to do on the shirt. And when I get an idea... I want to do it, and I don't want anything to stand in my way. So I have to find how I'm going to do this. <laughs> okay, this would take some work, but I believe I can use this. This is like a vinyl that I think you actually cut out what you want on there. The other option is I could use stencils, because these are pretty big, but I would need some small ones also. Wait a moment. Here we have wooden stamps, small letters that are wooden stamps. That would be perfect. That would be much easier than trying to cut out the letters and iron them on. At least I think it would. I just found some more stencils, and I like these even better for the small letters. And these are cool because I can stick them on wherever I want them on the shirt, 
and then place the other letters around them. Okay, we are ready to roll and look at this. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay guys, we are home and we got our stuff set up here. We're gonna make our t-shirt first. So I got a big white shirt. We got our stencils, paint, foam brushes here, and parchment paper. Oh, and I love this movie so much. I told you I had it right here at home. <laughs> but I still rented it. The cool thing about this though is I can look right here at the label and that's how we're gonna do this. And we are gonna make this shirt say, Honey, I Shrunk Saturday. So let's get this all set up. I did get a shirt with a pocket on it, unfortunately. They didn't have the right size in the other ones. But, oh well, it's the way it goes. I put our parchment paper in here. Okay, now with these sticky letters, we're going to put the word shrunk in real small letters. And that will give us a base for where our other letters are going to go. I think that may be the most difficult shirt I've ever made. It's time to put it on and make some tasty, tasty snacks. Who's ready for favorable? <laughs> Who's ready to cook? It is time to cook. Who's ready for bagel dogs? Okay guys, yes, so I'm ready to get cooking here. I am so hungry and what we're gonna make tonight is these little mini bagel dogs. They're not really bagel dogs. We're gonna make these with beef little smokies, smoked sausages, but we are gonna make a little breading and we're gonna roll them in there. And then we're gonna use this bagel seasoning called Everything Bagel. And we're gonna roll them in that to give them a little bit more of that bagel taste. Then we're gonna stick them in the oven at 375 for like 15 minutes, maybe not quite that long. You gotta watch these, because when you roll the big ones, the actual hot dogs, you leave them in for 15, 20 minutes. But these things are just tiny, so I'm really gonna keep an eye out. Maybe these will only be five to 10 minutes. First thing we need to do though is use mozzarella cheese, and I'm gonna make what's called a fathead dough. This is a low carb recipe. I'm gonna use two and a half cups of mozzarella cheese. Then I'm gonna put that in the microwave on like 30 to 40 second increments until all that cheese is melted. Okay, so our mozzarella cheese is melted nice. We're gonna put one egg in. And I will say, I got this original recipe from another channel. The girl's name is Catherine Michelle, and she actually made the full-size bagel dogs. I've made those before, and they are delicious, but I like to tweak these things a little bit sometimes just to make them a little bit more fun and change it up, because you kind of get tired of the same things. Mix your egg in there really good. Okay, then we're gonna add one and one fourth cup of the almond flour. And one more thing, one teaspoon of baking powder. Now you guys can simply use like pizza crust or whatever you wanna use if you're making these yourselves. You don't have to go buy this recipe. This is just what I do so that it's low in carbs. Mix that up real good. 
that will create your dough. Okay, so our dough is done. We're gonna put it on some parchment paper and roll it out. So we'll leave that in there for about 15 minutes, get the kitchen cleaned up and get our movie ready to roll. And then we have some barbecue sauce, sugar-free barbecue sauce that, uh, that we're gonna dip these things in. They ought to be so delicious. Okay, look at these guys, they just came out. They are nice and crisp and golden brown. Look at that, does that not look delicious? I think I left these in for probably a minute too long actually, but we even have our barbecue sauce for dipping. These things are gonna be so good. Let's just give it a little taste. A little dip. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. That is amazing. That is definitely slap your mama. All right, guys, I'm out. I'm gonna watch this movie. I hope you guys will have your own movie nights. Come over and post your pictures on that Nate Guys and Gals on Facebook, and I will see you guys next Saturday.